Greeks digesting the details of this bailout uh, deal agreed in Brussels with a sense of pessimism and in some cases anger as well. National humiliation uh, is the phrase that uh, several have used to me today. Others actually doubting uh, if they are going to be able to actually agree and sign up and implement all those measures. Others though say this gives Greece certainty now and that is what they need and a chance for structural reform. Uh, I think we can speak to Nigel Farage of the uh, UK Independence Party, UKIP. Uh, good morning Mr Farage. I'm not sure actually are you leader now or standing for leader? I'm not quite, I can't remember where we are on that one. I'm leader, yes. Uh, the, 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 the people who say that this is a good deal, it's tough, uh, but it does keep Greece in the euro and it avoids the catastrophe of Grexit. What do you say to that? What I say to that is there was a referendum that took place eight days ago and 61% of the Greek people in an open, free, fair referendum said uh, they did not want you know, any more cuts to pensions, um, any more pressure uh, to, put on, to be put on VAT, and least of all, none of them who voted no thought that €40 billion euros worth of assets would be placed effectively in a bank account in Luxembourg to be run by the German Chancellor. So I say but, but that, good deal but, but that, that, deal. Actually, that's, that's not the case, though. Uh, well, it, well, Rush, it's not going to Luxembourg. It's going to be kept in Greece, isn't it? Well, well, well. Either it's go, it goes to Luxembourg or Greece is colonised. Either way, what is absolutely clear is you cannot be a democratic, self-governing nation and a member of the eurozone. And I have to say, if I was a no voter, um, I would be on the streets of Athens today protesting that my prime minister had let me down. The alternative, though, Grexit, just uh, w what would you envisage would happen then for Greece and its relationship with the, with the rest of the world? Well, when this crisis broke back in 2008, um, the Greek debt GDP ratio was about 100%. Uh, and here we now are, six, seven years on, uh, with unemplo youth unemployment rates at nearly 60%, with an economy that has contracted by more than 25%. And after all these years of austerity, the Greek debt GDP ratio is now 180%. So all the suffering, all the misery, all the social dislocation that Greece has been through over the last seven years has been for nothing. And if they stay inside the Eurozone, nothing will improve, it will only get worse. The only salvation for Greece is Grexit, but unfortunately their Prime Minister does not appear to have the courage to do it. What are the financial, compli uh, what are the financial uh, consequences, though, of Grexit? I mean, you must have explored that. You know, you'd be locked out of markets, uh, unemployment, you'd devalue, the, the new currency would be devalued, there'd be greater unemployment. You, you must know what the consequences of a Grexit would be, or do you think that is, that is alarmism on, uh, on those who, 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 who argue against it? Well, the status quo are desperately trying to maintain uh, the euro. They fear uh, that if Greece goes, uh, that actually other countries will choose to go as well. So, as Martin Schulz, the president of the European Parliament, said last night, we are fighting for the future of the European project. So, so there are these dire warnings. But just remember, when the big banking crash came in 2008, little Iceland, with a population of a third of a million, uh, was apparently doomed to total disaster. What did they do? They let their banks go bust and default. They saw a depreciation of their currency by nearly 80%. They saw raging inflation, and it was tough. Of course it was tough. But, you know, within 18 months, Iceland was back to growth uh, with its own currency and control of its own interest rates. And around the world, there are people queuing up to invest in Greece once she's left the euro and devalued. Of course the banks will be finished. Of course, uh, you, know, you know, Greece nationally um, and through private companies will have to write off a shed load of debt. Uh, I'm not pretending it's easy, but it's the only salvation. Well, well, the way you describe it, of course, the, the, the banks will go down. I mean, that would be a disaster for thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. Well, of course it would, but then it's a disaster anyway, isn't it? I mean, you know, this is, if they stay within the euro, if they keep propping up the banks with money that is effectively coming from Northern Europe, even that won't last forever. You know, it's, pretty, it's been pretty clear the last couple of days that the Germans' patience has now been, and, and the Finns too, has now been severely tested. Um, I mean... When you think back, you know, the Great Depression of the 1930s, buddy, can you spare me a dime, that was after a 16% contraction in the economy. Greece is now bigger than 25%. We're actually watching 
a country becoming a third world nation before our very eyes. And, and, and to come out of last night's negotiations saying more of the same leaves us, sta leaves us safe and stable, frankly, is madness. All right, Nigel Farage, uh, leader of UKIP, thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us.